four temperaments and their effects on the workplace. More often than not, when people see successful individuals, they often wonder, what type of personality do these people have? Were they simply born to be successful? Is it possible that these people just made the best of what they already had? One Greek man named Hippocrates believed that people can be divided into four distinct yet overlapping categories based on their humors, which are fluids presumed to be inside the body and whose imbalance can lead to illness. These are also responsible for the different types of temperaments and personality. This theory still remains popular today and is used for employee management. Knowing these four temperaments and understanding how they work can assist with interactions between yourself, co-workers, and supervisors. Furthermore, identifying the strengths and weaknesses of each temperament assists in determining how people are capable of performing in a group. Down below are the four most common temperaments and their advantages and disadvantages. The main advantage of being a sanguine is the ability to have flexibility and adaptability while maintaining composure. They have great communication and entertainment skills. Some call them the life of the party due to their enthusiasm and popularity. A sanguine is a very sociable and optimistic person that makes them very easy to like. On the other hand, a sanguine often lacks the ability to empathize and understand deeply. They are disorganized and may appear not to be serious about their work. They have tendencies towards being naive and trusting others to do the work they might not get around to. They mostly enjoy having fun and being showered with approval. They tend to dislike people who don't respond to humor. Possessing the innate ability of leadership, a choleric is obedient and goal-oriented. They have the ability to make quick decisions and correct judgments, which are often impulsive. These make them better suited to a field where change is common. A choleric is quick to take charge of a situation, and they are usually fast-paced and require a degree of control in their work. They have a good sense of self-confidence and a sincere belief in personal achievement, which often leads to them accomplishing more in a short amount of time. However, due to their nature, a choleric will come across as too domineering, autocratic, and impatient. They often have difficulties delegating tasks to subordinates and at the same time, expecting them to produce the same quality as he does. They enjoy the presence and company of people who are supportive and cooperative. They dislike laziness and disloyalty. The calm and harmonious, a phlegmatic value, understanding, and peace. They are composed and collected and have an even-tempered disposition with a drizzle of dry humor they are meticulous in their decision-making, which can often be a disadvantage in a fast-paced environment. A phlegmatic is often the peacekeeper of the group, solving problems and conflict objectively while maintaining an easygoing and relaxed posture. On the other hand, a phlegmatic often lacks enthusiasm, energy, and decisiveness. They dislike making major changes. Oftentimes, they don't set solid goals, react slowly, and avoid facing problems head-on. A phlegmatic likes people who recognizes their own strengths and initiate action and decisions. They do not like people who are too arrogant or pushy. While melancholics are known as pessimistic and prefer solitude, they possess compassion for those in need. They are meticulous, organized, and analytical. They pay attention to every detail and think of every possible outcome. This makes them good at setting and organizing long-term goals. They have high standards and ideals that they deem perfect. A melancholic understands feelings while demanding quality performance. Oftentimes, a melancholic takes life too seriously. They tend to focus too much on details and preparation. They insist on in achieving perfection. However, they do enjoy the company of intellectual people that can carry deep and sensible conversations. They dislike forgetfulness, tardiness, superficiality, and unpredictability. Due to the varying degrees of positive and negative traits in a single temperament, a combination of temperaments is not uncommon. Fast-paced leaders are often categorized as sanguine choleric, while decision makers and advisors are melancholic phlegmatic. It's balance that makes for a happy and healthy workplace. If you're hiring people, 
make sure you get a balance of temperaments to ensure harmony in the office. Hope you've all enjoyed. Leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.